What's going on guys, it's Omniarch, because today I'm going to bring you a brand new video talking about Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Now this is going to be a little bit of a rant, uh, because to be honest guys, I am trying to enjoy this game, uh, and it's just not going well. Now, I keep seeing people, you know, on Twitter and on YouTube, just people talking about the game, people are prestiging already, people are grinding, people are doing all this stuff, and that's great, and I'm glad that I see people who are actually, like, enjoying the game, or at least, you know, they are excited enough to play it, uh, and here I am. I'm watching them and I'm like oh wow I should probably play you know I'm, I'm a lot I'm like really behind as far as level goes you know everybody else probably knows the maps a lot better than I do now and I just can't bring myself to play this game for more than like 45 minutes I mean it's just such uh, it's just such a letdown for me as a Call of Duty player and I want to talk about the biggest thing that I feel really makes this game just not fun for me to play now I was going through right and with the beta we only had what three or four maps um, and you know you're playing them and it's like okay whatever this is a beta you're playing the same apps over and over again this is the full official game uh, and every game that I play I feel like the maps are so similar and I was trying to figure out like am I playing the same maps again or, or what and I came to the conclusion that they all are similar they all feel similar because they all look exactly the same every single map that you go on except for maybe two of them are inside futuristic like space station looking buildings every single like whether or not you're on mars or you're on some snowy planet it doesn't matter every building that you go into feels like some fucking space station and it's like of course i'm new york of course everything looks like a space station you're in space well here's an idea how about let's not fucking put call of duty in space because it leaves you with no options as far as environments go and i can see like i'm looking at the map screen right now on my you know thing and it looks like they tried really hard to make the maps look different from one another but every single one just has that super futuristic space station uh feel to it because that's what it is every single map is just all the colors and all the textures they're all reflective and metal and sleek and everything looks the same every map feels the same to me and i know you know some of them play maybe a little bit different but overall they look so similar so i'm gonna go through some of these maps we're gonna stop at the start of the first one breakout maximum security penitentiary located on a snowy mountaintop okay uh let's look at frost multi-lane research facility atop the icy tundra of jupiter's moon europa dude they're they're both icy maps and yeah okay one of them's a penitentiary and one of them's a research facility but in actuality they're just both futuristic buildings in a snowy environment they're the same it's the same concept you look at crusher support the mars war effort a medium-sized um sdf munitions facility okay so that's like a gun ammunition facility then you have scorch that's a hot mining facility it's like everything every facility or every research center or every you know frontier is a space station you look at um grounded it's a sdf destroyer on the edge of a you know fucking star or planet or some shit like that um you know precinct looks a bit different that's just kind of like a modern like you know um future modern city um throwback is a variety of space uh, fight in a variety of spaces and engagements in a 1950s style main street usa logo like they obviously threw that map in because they knew oh shit all the maps look the same let's make one that looks like a 1950s city like it's so obvious i mean you look at um genesis that one looks a little bit less uh futuristic but it still does in my opinion retaliation again cl a classic style map set in a ravage geneva during the thick of the sdf invasion this one looks more of a modern warfare type map again it's clear that they made this map it sticks out like a like a sore thumb and it's clear that they made this map because they were thinking oh shit all these maps are all futuristic space station looking maps every single one looks exactly the same we need a few maps that look different and there you have retaliation and throwback and that's not enough for me it's just not there's not enough variation in the colors the textures everything it all looks the same there's no there's nothing unique about any of these maps and honestly what it what happens is you know you could sit there and say oh you're just complaining you're just bitching about it but no what happens is I'm apathetic towards the game there's no I, I don't have a favorite map there's no fun maps for me I don't I don't think oh that fucking forest map I remember that map no none of the maps are cool to me I don't care about any of them they don't look good I mean you would think this game is kind of like a black ops 3 ripoff in my opinion because you know the movement system is the same it's futuristic same shit same shit 
you would think the one thing they could do is maybe have really cool variants in, in maps but when you look at it black ops 3 actually had very different maps you know you had uh over or i don't remember what the fucking forest one was called there's just there's a ton of different maps that look you know different in black ops 3 they have different environments and different things like that in this one fucking 80 percent of them are futuristic buildings that you're in you're just in a futuristic building that's what it is you can call it a, a munitions factory or a space station or whatever you want to call it what it is is a futuristic building on a on a spaceship or whatever and it, it's like i don't give a fuck all the maps look the same i'm not attached to any of them they're not fun to play on uh and you you're just stuck with the same thing over and over again and it's just I, every game I play, I'm like, oh, maybe, you know, I'm, I'm really trying to get into it, but every single thing is the same. Everything feels the same, and I, it's just it's just not fun to me. The other thing I want to talk about is the double jumping, and not about, you know, how much I hate it, because everybody knows that double jumping is fucking garbage in Call of Duty, but some of the maps are designed as, like, three-lane maps, right? But then there's one lane where there's just no floor, and you're forced to double jump and wall run, and it's like they're they're basically forcing the uh the jet packing dynamic of the game to show off the wall running and the double jumping and all this stuff and it's like we wanted a boots on the ground game anyway right and instead you've literally taken out the floor of portions of the map where you now need to wall run uh and i don't like wall running wall running is not fun to me wall running is gimmicky and it makes it harder to aim while wall running and you can't stop while wall running or you die which is fucking retarded so instead of having just a regular map where you might go over to the right lane or something and you're, you're going and it's like well I can either camp here in front of the gap and wait for someone to wall run here, that's fucking boring, or I could wall run across and hope I don't get shot while I'm running, like that shouldn't be in the game, it shouldn't be a 50-50 thing, it's like, why would you take out parts of the map, why don't you make wall running optional as like a second route instead of just a portion where you have to double jump, I don't know, I just feel like there's a ton of spots in this game compared to Black Ops 3 where double jumping is now a part of how you have to navigate the map instead of just an option that you have so i'm playing the maps and i fucking hate them uh, and i hate the gimmicks that the maps bring and just all the variants i'm dying to people who already have epic and legendary variants and all this stuff and then i'm like you know what fuck it i jump on Modern Warfare remastered that game is so good it's so good it's literally so much better than infinite warfare and it's a game from 2007 or something like it blows my mind how we've come this far and and we keep arguing oh innovation we got to change it up we got to make it better N no it this just proves it hands down modern warfare remastered is a, a much more fun game than infinite warfare i mean th the maps are like unique they all are different some of them are you know in like uh like a desert scenario or some of them are in like a bombed out town and it's just like it, the maps there's only 10 of them but they're still fucking better and more there's more variation than the infinite warfare maps the guns <clears throat> feel way better to use i'm just maybe it's because i'm used to them from playing them back in the day but shit man the game just feels so much better and not having a jetpack on and not having that that thought in the back of my mind where it's like I gotta keep running, I gotta keep moving, I gotta keep doing this, like, no, you can literally just find a good strategic s spot, kill a couple of people, figure out where they're spawning, you know, attack from that direction, like, the game just feels way more strategic, and I think that's because the game runs so much slower, and that's just way better as far as, you know, having fun and feeling like your skill is paying off in a shooting game. Playing Infinite Warfare, it's like I get a few kills, and it's like, okay, I know that they're probably going to come from behind me, so I'm going to try and, you know, try and predict that and turn around, and then I die from the back anyway, so it's like... In Infinite Warfare, I just know that I'm going to die soon, regardless of, of how well I'm doing. You know, I could have a 1.5 or 2.0 KD halfway through a match, and I, I don't feel like I'm guaranteed to continue doing that well, because the spawns are more random, and people are moving fast, and you have to double jump and move all over the place, and you can't just stop and, like, figure out a strategic way to, you know, fend off where the enemies are coming from. That's non-existent in this game. Uh, and I jump on Modern Warfare Remastered, and it's just such a better game just in every single way. And I'm really, like, trying to think of a way that Infinite Warfare is better, and I genuinely cannot think of it. Maybe some of the kill streaks are maybe a little bit better in Infinite Warfare, but like I said, it's so much harder to fucking do well in this game because A, personally, I just don't give a shit about the game, and B, it's just so much randomness with wall running and double jumping, and the, just the maps are small and vertical, and it's just... I don't care about Infinite Warfare, and Modern Warfare Remastered is just so much better, like, if you just made a game like that, 
with better map like not better not even better maps just just as good maps but different uh maybe some different guns and you know different things you know modern warfare uh 2 to modern warfare 3 as far as innovation goes there really wasn't any innovation there and i know that a lot of people gave modern warfare 3 slack for that but a it was still the best selling call of duty b it's still way fucking better than the past three or four call of duties that we've had in my opinion I really truly believe that. I really think Modern Warfare 3 was way better than Advanced Warfare, Black Ops 3, and Infinite Warfare. And that game doesn't have jetpacks, it doesn't have innovation, it doesn't have any of the shit that people are saying Call of Duty needs or that Call of Duty is saying Call of Duty needs. No, all it was is your standard modern gun shooter uh, with different guns and, you know, maybe some different sidearms and some different maps, but the maps were still good uh, and, and good kill streaks. And that's all it takes to make a good fucking Call of Duty. And I I don't understand why that's so hard for any of these developers to, to figure out I mean sure release Modern Warfare 4 and you know bring a uh, bring some of the bullshit over that, that'll still be better you know bring supply drops over to Modern Warfare 4 and I'd be like wow that's fucking gay but if the game is actually good if the game is actually good then I can't complain about things like supply drops because the game will actually be good if you have a piece of shit game like Infinite Warfare, where the only thing, the only chance that you have to increase your odds of winning gunfights is legendary weapons that you have to buy through supply drops, it's not a good game. It's just not. So, I don't know. This video has just been ranty. This video didn't even have, like, a solid, good, planned out train of thought, and I might have made a ton of people mad with this video. I don't know. I just, all these thoughts are running through my mind, and I wanted to make a video about it because... I really just am so upset with Call of Duty. I mean, this I've been with this franchise since like 2004, 2005, whenever Call of Duty 2 came out. That one was amazing, and the game has just been slowly on the decline for so long now. Advanced Warfare was garbage, but at least Competitive was fun to watch, and Search and Destroy was kind of fun for me. Um, it was alright for the time, you know, it got boring, and it was not a good game, obviously. Black Ops 3 was fun when it came out, and then they patched the game, and patched the game, and patched the game, and, and then it takes six bullets to kill with every gun, and uh, they just fucking ruined that game for me, too. And then this game, I'm not even excited to play it. I bought it. I honestly don't want to, I don't want to play it. I don't care. I just don't, there's nothing in the game where it's like, oh, maybe, you know, I want to play it so I can maybe get the nuke, or I'm going to play to try all these kill streaks, or, you know, oh, I want to unlock this gun. That gun looks really cool. Like, there's nothing in the game. There's not even a good map I want to play, there's, just, there's nothing, there's no incentive for me to play Infinite Warfare, and that's the lowest feeling that I've had for Call of Duty ever, so uh, it just sucks, especially because that's the main game that I play on this channel, so I don't know, maybe you guys are going to see a lot of Modern Warfare Remastered or something, or maybe I'll try and alternate, I don't know, um, but I'm just really not having fun with the game, it's just not good in my opinion, there's nothing about it that's better than Black Ops 3 or any previous Call of Duty, uh, it's new, there's that it's it's a new call of duty but that's all it has going for it and that's not enough to get me excited uh, to play it because if it's not better then it's not worth my time so that's pretty much it guys hopefully you enjoyed make sure you drop a comment down below i'd love to hear what you're thinking in infinite warfare and maybe you know if you have any thoughts on how you can get me inspired to play the game and get me excited about the game i'd love to hear it because i do want to like it I, I do i really want to like the game i mean not just the fact that i love call of duty and it's like what my channel is based on but i spent 80 bucks on it like i want to like the game uh but i fucking don't so comment down below telling me if you're liking infinite warfare and if you are how and why and maybe i can wrap my head around that and and play it for myself and enjoy it um if you enjoyed the video if you thought it was funny or if you agree with anything i said make sure you smack the like button i would really really appreciate it and it does help on my channel a ton and if you want to see more videos like this one make sure you subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys again soon this has been omniarch and i will talk to you later peace